Do you want to add a privacy policy page on your WordPress website? We'll keep watching. In this video, I'll walk you through how to easily add the privacy policy page in WordPress. It's always recommended to add a privacy policy page to your website, whether you're a blogger, a freelancer, or a business owner, simply because it's a document required by law that discloses the information that you collect about visitors on your website. And it used to be a lot more difficult to get this on your site, but now WordPress has made it a lot easier to do. So to get started, you will first want to head over to your WordPress dashboard, go down to your settings area, and click on the privacy tab. From here, from here you can choose a generic privacy policy template to use with instructions on how to add more content to it if you need to that's more specific to your website. From here, you can either select a page to have the privacy policy information on there or simply create a new one and it will automatically do that for you. We'll create a new one just to show you what it looks like. And you see it brings in all this information and you can go through and change it as you need to. You can add specific things according to if you have contact forms, your cookies, media files, and comments, and what you do with those comments. So you can make the changes here. When you're happy with your privacy policy, you can go ahead and click publish, and then that will become your privacy policy page. Now that you've published it, you'll also want to add it, say, to a menu or the footer area so that people can view your privacy policy page. So we can do a couple of things, and let's just do the one that's easiest. We can add it to a widget area. So we'll go to Appearance, Widgets. And for this, we want to add the privacy policy page to our footer area. Your widget area might look a little bit different according to your theme, but this one has a footer area that I'll be adding this to. We could do the navigational menu. We'll add that here. And then we'll create a menu so that we can add that. I'm going to name this Privacy. Need to create the menu. Once I create it, then these will become available. So I'm going to click on the privacy policy, add to menu, we'll do a footer. Again, you may not see this area depending on your theme and we'll just click save menu. Now we can go back to the widgets area, navigation menu, and from the drop down, we want to click privacy. And now we can look at this in a new window and we'll see, and then we see that our sidebar is actually down here. And this is our privacy policy. So it's a very simple way to create a privacy policy for your WordPress website. Thanks for watching. Did you learn something from today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.